as a kid, when I was 11 years old, my dad taught me how to use an axe. I'm the eldest of seven. A double bitted axe, and it was called You're Responsible for Getting Wood for the Family Forever Until You Leave Home. And that meant chopping down the trees, sawing them up into lengths, and bringing them up and sawing them into smaller pieces, right? So I like to be in the bush. It was a good place. When I was in my teens, my mom and dad went somewhere and left me to look after the kids, and uh, I made stew. And the darn thing wasn't brown, so I started adding food coloring. My brothers and sisters got purples too. <laughs> they never let me forget. I didn't do a lot of art, though I did some when I was in high school. I don't remember anything except making one out of asbestos, which we wouldn't be allowed to handle now. It was asbestos and flour. We made puppets. And uh, I think I tried to make it like a demon of the math teacher. <laughs> In 1984, well, I, w I went to Japan to find myself, as my daughter said, under a rock. <laughs> I was, uh, my, my marriage was finished at that point. So um, Marcy died in 81, and we never seemed to get things, things weren't good before that either, so we just grown in different directions. So I went to Japan to stay with a friend and kind of sort my life. And uh, while I was there, she hooked me up to go one afternoon for a class in Shigirie. And I went, not knowing what the heck it was. And uh, when I got there, we had to make this little twig with one or two dogwood blossoms on it and a leaf or two. And that was supposed to take us two and a half hours, and I was finished in about 20 minutes. <laughs> and I wanted out, and I wanted to be able to buy the paper. And they said, no, we won't sell you the paper. Come back next week and learn how to do grapes. I didn't want to do grapes. <laughs> so then I went home, and Motoko said, oh, it's beautiful. It's very, you're very good. I said, yeah, I want to buy the paper. You'll go back next week. I said, no. <laughs> and it took me six weeks to find the paper. I like shigiri. I like the, the torn paper stuff. I like it because it's a, it's a curious thing and it makes other people think differently. The paper and the collages allow me to go places that most other people can't. I guess I've had enough trouble in my life to make me appreciate the other side. Living life well and, and fully is very important. <laughs>